Well, we uh, walked down to the bee yard a few minutes ago and saw that a swarm was happening out of one of the hives, a single brood chamber hive that we have. And instead of lighting on a uh, nearby branch, the swarm crossed over into the pasture and I climbed the fence and followed them through the pasture here to the edge of the woods and well they lighted up here on this tree branch while they're still in mid pasture you know there's an old belief that if you blow the car horn or if you cling and make a lot of noise that they'll go ahead and settle on a branch instead of the swarm keep moving well I started clapping my hands and I clapped my hands for three or four minutes solid and they lighted on this branch here first branch they got near now I don't know if that if that was uh, the case you know if I if my clapping made them like I don't know a hundred percent if that was if that's true but I've done it before and it did work so it was worth trying again to catch this swarm and I hope people on YouTube and Facebook hope y'all enjoy watching this if you do enjoy it I pr I'd appreciate it if you'd hit like and maybe subscribe to our channel so the first thing I want to do is below me you see an orange hive body it's a nucleus hive it's a four frame nucleus hive that I built it's got four frames deep frames in it first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat them with a little sugar water, about 50-50 sugar in the water. And what this does is it entices that swarm after we catch them to stay in this box and start building cone. Now I didn't believe it. First time Lionel taught me that this is the first step you do. I didn't believe it. And I had caught swarms where I didn't have any sugar water and I said it'll be all right and I went ahead and caught them and did not spray any of the foundation with sugar water. Well those swarms always left the hive. They never took up residence in that hive. So I learned my lesson and 100% of the time I spray sugar water on this foundation when I catch a swarm. The branch that these bees have lighted on is about two inches in diameter and it's too big for me to cut with my little hand cutter. So what I'm going to have to do, if I had a five gallon bucket with me, I would shake them off in that five gallon bucket and then climb the ladder and then just pour them over into this hive. Since I don't have my bucket with me, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray that swarm of bees with some of this sugar water mixture. And then probably what I'll do is take an empty frame up there with me, shake the bees down or brush the bees down onto that empty frame that I hold horizontal and then walk it down the ladder and dump it into the hive and just repeat as necessary. So let's see how this goes. All right, hopefully you can see the swarm of bees right above my head. It's a small swarm, mediocre, but we'll take them. I'm gonna spray them with the sugar water. Now I did spray these bees previous to you seeing it on the video so it didn't look like I sprayed them too much just now but they've gotten a couple coatings so spray them pretty liberally with your sugar water all right I've already went up here around this swarm and I trimmed a few of the low hanging branches that were going to obstruct the view and obstruct my ability to manipulate this swarm. So I trim those branches off. You almost always have to have you a good pair of, of limb snips, branch snippers, limb cutters. 
They are an essential part of your toolbox when you when it comes to catching honeybees for them. Another good tool is the bee brush. These bee brushes, uh, they come in handy. There's a couple different qualities you can buy of them. You can buy an economic quality or higher standard quality. They both work. This one here is a, the premium one that Man Lake sale. But they're real gentle on the bees. So let's see what we can do with this swarm. I'm gonna get a few of them on this. I'm gonna lay this this foundation flat, and I'm gonna brush a few of them on here. I'm gonna walk them down the ladder, and put them into the hive, and I'm gonna repeat as necessary. All we need out of this entire swarm is one bee, the queen bee. If we had the queen bee. We could put that single queen bee in a queen cage, put her in this hive, and just wait them out, and they would all leave this branch and go down to that queen bee in the hive. But she's not always easy to spot in amongst these thousands of bees on this branch. So this is how we do it. You can see I got a pile of them on this front. All right, I hope you can see this on camera. We brushed them off onto this frame from up above, and now we're gonna just dump them down. Into the hive. We're gonna get some more bees. We brushed a few more bees onto this foundation. Well, they're all over me right now, but they're acting right. I'm gonna shake them into the box. And I'm gonna leave that frame in here. Hopefully we've got the queen already and she would draw all the bees into this box. They're fanning. All these bees are fanning. Let me show you that. Now hopefully you can see the bees inside the, the nucleus colony here. And you can see them on top of the frames. You can see them fanning their wings with their abdomens kind of up in the air. Hopefully we've got the queen already and what they're doing by fanning is spreading her pheromones into the air so the other bees can pick up on it and come down to the hive. Got my foundation and my frame. And this is a plastic foundation that's never been worked by the bee. I believe it's called Right Cell. I got it from Man Lake. It's pretty good uh, quality, good thickness. The cells are pretty deep on it and it has a coating of beeswax over it that encourages the bees to draw a comb exactly where we want them to draw it, which is inside of this wood frame. That way we can manipulate the frame, move it in and out of the hive as, as we see uh, fit to manage the colony. See the remaining bees that I have, I'm going to put them right down inside the hive. I'm going to center the frames up. Now we've got all the bees in the swarm that were up on the branch. Now there's a few still flying in the air, that's alright. Um, 
as long as we've got the queen down in this box, she will draw all the other ones with her pheromones into this box and hopefully start a new hive, a new home for the bees. So while they're fanning, as we showed you before, I'm going to put the lid on this box. Now, with the lid on the box, the bees are, gonna, are going to continue to fan the pheromone of the queen up into the air. And as, as long as she's in this box, any remaining bees in the air and on the original limb that where the swarm was will come down to this box. I just want to say I really appreciate everybody watching this video. This is only our second video to ever publish on YouTube and Facebook so I really appreciate it and I really hope to have many more videos uh, so please subscribe like the video and here at Crab Trees Honeybees we'll be back with more content thank you